Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. We're trying to add a way for new users to be added to this project. Uh, for now, we've figured out we've created a way for new comments to be added and we have to make it uh, better by just uh, taking this comment and making it a pop-up box, okay, so that it doesn't occupy the space. And then we're going to add a way for new users to be added to this project. Only members that are added to this project can participate in this project, all right? So first of all, we're, not, we're going to add a field. The way we want to do it is that we want people to be added using their email addresses, all right? So um, my target for the next few videos is to explore Ajax requests using um, Laravel so that you see how to make Ajax requests using Laravel. So to add a box, since we're using Bootstrap, we'll go to getbootstrap.com, uh, getbootstrap.com, click on components, uh, on the page once you click on components you click click on input groups then scroll down to checkbox and radios uh, this one this is what we're looking for we're looking for something like this so that we can just type an email address and then click on go button then it will add the person all right so if we look at the code this code contains the code for this two meanwhile what we're looking for is the second one so i'll copy the two of them then i'll delete the code that does um, for this one so now i've copied it uh, we'll simply have to go back to our projects uh, show dot blade and try to add this on the delete. So if I get back to the code, we'll get to our resources, and then we're looking for views, and then we'll go for our projects, and then we'll go to show dot blade, and we're looking for the delete button somewhere down there. Um, personally, I would like this is the delete button, and then. Um, under this list, this is the list that started here. This is the sidebar module. So this is a list on all that list. Um, I hope you're understanding. On the actions, you, ha you have this list. So we want to add that here. So um, this is actions. This is the list. So I'm looking for where the list ended. The list ended here. So I want to add the code um, for our button here so I have the code this is the code I pasted from bootstrap so this code I pasted from bootstrap I'll make it look neater and as you can see it has um it has the first um, control input box I'll delete it so that we we'll just have one and um, this one is divided uh, divides the screen into a half remember that this this is bootstrap divides the screen into half for me I want it to occupy full screen all right so i would do exactly the same thing for um this is for large screens i'll do it for medium screens md md and then of course you can take your time out to do it for every other thing uh, i'll have extra small screens and we'll do it for small screens sm okay now we're done we can just go and refresh our page keep your eye here so i'll reload and when I do the reloading, um, I'll see that uh, we can now add um, people to this group. So we, what we can do is um, we can just say email. So in the placeholder, it says search for. We can just say email. email. So if you know the email of the person, um, you can just use the email to search to add the person. Like I said, we'll first of all do this without Ajax. Once it works without Ajax, we'll Hide, we'll modify it to work uh, uh, perfectly with Ajax. So instead of saying go, we can just say add. And then we need a title for this. So we'll just copy a h1 tag. Uh, the, the same one that is used in actions, h4. So we come here and put a h4 tag. And um, we can say add um, members to this project. Members. Add members all right so this is cool if we refresh we should see something like this here something super cool and then outside that uh, I think I should push this down a little to create a little more space here so I'll create a little more space by pushing stuff I can just say HR this is horizontal line then I'll do another HR or uh, basically just add a list so I'm going to copy a list. 
um, I'm trying to list all the members by that side so I'll close the OL tag I hope you're understanding what I'm doing I'm just being lazy instead of typing out a list by myself I'm just copying an already existing one so I'll delete all the li tags um, so we will end up with um, a and um, if you don't understand what I'm, I'm just trying to do just hold on a little you it makes sense so as you can see what I just did it's basically create a list and on ordered list that will contain all our users is on on that and is on style so I can just say members project members team team members so the team member will contain basically the name of somebody I can just say the partner that is one team member and of course a link to whatever so uh, we don't have a link to it yet so this is the kind of thing we want to look at um, you can just say John Doe and watch your name watching this video I'm just gonna guess your name Max Max partner uh, Lisa joy all right cool so uh, we can just go ahead I just want to put a BR tag here BR tag or HR just BR just to make sure that there's space if we refresh again we should see an option to add members and then we'll see list of members as you can see we can add new members then we can see already added team members all right and uh, something else we want to do is to add um, a button to remove an X button to remove team members uh, we will do that in the next uh, video okay so for now what we just have is a super cool way of having uh, adding members in the next video we will see how we can um, add a button to remove members then we can actually make this to work Alright, so thank you very much. See you in the next video.